Okay, so we're going to do a chemical peel on Janelle here. We're doing the universal peel. We're going to be treating acne. Um, she does have um, just a few active um, breakouts, but more scarring. Um, so what the peel is going to do, it's going to just improve the scarring. It's also for age spots, wrinkles, large pores, um, any superficial pigmentation. Um, we just cleansed her skin, so now we're going to start with the first step. So this first step is prepping her skin. Now this is just like green tea extract, which is just making sure everything is off and prepping her skin to absorb all the acids that we're going to put on it. Now this first step doesn't burn, just has a little smell to it. So now we are going to start with the second step and this is when she is going to feel a slight tingle so I am going to give her the fan. I'm going to give you the fan so you can hold on to it so you can control where you feel it a little more. So the second step is a mixture of salicylic acid and lactic acid. And what this is going to do is this is what's helping bring up any scarring and calming the acne. So this step takes about five minutes. And will I have any downtime? Um, the only downtime you have is day three and four, which um, you are going to be a little peely. Um, you're not going to peel very much. Um, it's almost like you just got a sunburn and you're peeling from it. Um, I am going to give you an ointment to take home with you so you can apply. Um, the first two days you're going to be feeling tight and that's normal and the ointment is going to help um, to kind of you know, take that tightness away. the first acid now what we're gonna do is we're gonna neutralize her skin what this is gonna do is because she was feeling a little um, tingle this is gonna neutralize it and it's also gonna help prep the skin for the next acid that I'm gonna put on now this is cool on the skin and this will take away any tingle that she did have that was good do you feel it going down like mm -hmm. the tingle? It's soothing. So now we're putting on the last acid and what this is, it's a retinal form acid and what a retinal does it's bringing out all the old and bringing in new skin cells. So this is what's going to give her skin more of like a radiant glow, bringing everything out. So to feel like it's getting a little tight. Mm -hmm. You feel it? Yeah. And this part actually also feels very cooling on the skin. Um, do you feel anything with this? Mm -hmm. You do feel any... No pain. No. no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't need the fan, you can let me know. Mm -hmm. The only part that tingles is just that first step. How's the feeling? Good. Okay. Trying to feel a little bit more tired. Mm -hmm. Now I do recommend you to get two to three, okay. but you will definitely see um, great results. Mm -hmm. So 
Should they be spread out in a certain time? Yeah, you want to get it like every four to six weeks. I mean, mm -hmm. in, somewhere in between a facial and microdermabrasion would be very good to take off any of the you know, skin that maybe didn't come off completely. So this last step is kind of just to take off any excess of what we just put on her face. This is also just going to neutralize her skin from everything that we just applied. And again with this one, it just feels very cool on the skin. Now with the ointment that you take home, um, you want, want you to use it morning and night or as needed. So throughout the day if you're feeling tight, uh, you can just apply that ointment. And it's also very important for you to put on a sunscreen every day. Not just because you got a peel, but you know, every single day. And you know, after a peel is when you can be a little more sensitive to the sun, so that's very important. I am going to put um, the Obagi SPF 50. Um, that one is a really popular one here that we have. It's matte, so it won't be, you know, shiny on your skin, or and it won't make you break out. Also help, you know, take away some dryness. Right. And now Janelle is all done with her peel. Um, Janelle is going to be feeling tight the next two days. Um, day three and four, she is going to start to feel tight. She is going to um, just keep applying her ointment. Um, and yeah, if she does have any questions, she can call. Um, again, it also, if you guys have any questions or concerns about this peel, you can contact us as well.